We've grown accustomed to the United States having a huge military presence on world events. You've probably heard the stat that the second largest air force in the world belongs to the US Navy. Regardless of the truth behind that stat, what it does show is the reputation of the individual military arms that the country has. It's no surprise then that the USA is now branched out into space, and we're not talking about NASA here. We're talking about an arm of the US Air Force that's dedicated to space operations, named the US Space Force. It's now a separate military branch in its own right, complete with Star Trek-esque logo and other pop culture references. This video is going to look at what you need to know about the USA's newest branch of the military. Welcome to Space Aspect, a channel that looks at all things space. If you're enjoying this video, please give us a like. And if you want to be the first to see videos just like this one, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell. Now, back to the Space Force. The US Air Force has had links to separate space operations for decades now, but this is the first time that an independent separate entity has been set up. But why has this decision been made, and why now? The Space Force was founded in 2019, under the Trump administration, and, as of 2021, Joe Biden has no plans to stand it down. According to the Space Force itself, their duty is to protect the interest of the United States in space, deter aggression in, from and to space, and conduct space operations. So if NASA is seen as the leaders of space exploration, the Space Force is seen as the guardians of that service. Essentially, the USA already has a vested interest in space, as not only are they the pioneers of exploration, but also the owners of trillions of dollars worth of assets orbiting our planet and beyond. This isn't going to slow down anytime soon, and the Space Force has been brought in partly to protect those assets. If we drill down into the Force's competencies and disciplines, this gives us further clues as to what the organization's function is. It lists its competencies as space security, combat power projection, space mobility and logistics, information mobility, and space domain awareness. This all checks out with the operations of the military as seen on the ground. The Space Force is clearly there to enable combat, logistical operations, and protection of assets. The seven disciplines further reinforce this. They are orbital warfare, space electromagnetic warfare, space battle management, space access and sustainment, military intelligence, cyber operations, and engineering and acquisition. Although a lot of these terms could cross over with other military groups, albeit with the word space tagged on, it's clear that the Space Force is attempting to future-proof themselves with the as-yet-unseen prospect of, for want of a better phrase, Star Wars. So this is what it's for, but how is it structured? The short answer is in a very similar way to the Air Force. Both the existing Air Force and the Space Force sit under the US Department of the Air Force. But despite this, both organisations are distinct and both have their own chief heading them up. Serving below him in the Space Force is a Vice Chief and Master Sergeant. In terms of troop ranking, the system is similar to all military branches. There's a hierarchy within officers, and then within the enlisted specialisms, ranging from cadet to general and specialist to senior enlisted advisor respectively. In December 2020, it was announced that the members of the force would be known as Guardians, harking back to Guardians of the High Frontier, from an Air Force Space Command motto of the 80s. The link between this and the Guardians of the Galaxy movies won't be lost on many people, and also other references to Guardians in video games like Destiny 2. Guardians may be an apt name for a group of people tasked with guarding an ever-growing collection of US assets in space. Just like other branches of the military and their duty to protect people and assets on Earth, the Space Force has been given the mission to do the same outside of Earth's atmosphere. What do you think about the Space Force? Do you think it's needed in modern society, or one large step for man too far? 
Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos out of this world, then please subscribe to the Space Aspect. Thanks for watching.